Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import.
Give me that ramp. wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you will find it's the other way around. Mark my words. I don't know who you are, and I don't care. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the rogue ourselves as both, I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same.
Carry the lamp long enough, and you'll see history repeat, over and over. 
If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself should you fall, make use of this. I've given you more umbral guidance than I ever had. From now on, find your own way and stay out of mine. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters. So we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook.
Sisters, you honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices, while I wish they were unnecessary. My wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does.
Welcome, Dark Crusader. I had no doubt in my assessment of you, as one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight, and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir was no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now, we stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of Adir's destructive influence, and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter, so remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Strive in darkness, in light we walk. By Aureus's divine will, I live again. It's a miracle. And to think I raised my sword to you, when all along you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallowed Sentinels. And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. 
whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood contained within the sanguinarics you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Let Arius's will be done. So the exactors found himself a new instrument. As exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall. And yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dull crusader's word. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis. A group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times, as are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further, or perhaps not. In Radiance, Judgment! Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Look at you. A Dark Crusader, a Lamp Bearer, and a Revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood, both deserved and undeserved alike. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong. And that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong, much as he might think otherwise. But if in doubt, much as he might think, but if in doubt, much as he might think otherwise.
<laughs> That's it, isn't it? Oh, the lamp of immortality. And the genuine article. Not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility. But far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Antanas himself. As proven by my family's book of lineage, for one. That's right. Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied a deer and a rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. My offer stands as long as necessary. After all, what man of breeding would turn away from one so clearly in need? My offer stands, after all.